Mr. Chairman, I have some questions that are about the crosswalk projects. I'm sure Mr. Kandar is not looking forward to this, but um, I understand we had a recent communication from PennDOT regarding the Silo Drive crosswalk and the ADA ramps that we have there are not up to, it seems to me, from what I understand, they're not up to uh, the latest code for uh, Americans with Disabilities Act and uh, not compliant with the latest code. And I'm not quite sure what PANDAR is asking for, but can you uh, give us a short rundown of what they're looking for? They're looking for the designs for the ADA ramps at this intersection. This is not a state route, so it's not common for them to request this, but we have been working with them to provide the information that they want to approve this traffic signal permit at Sycamore and Silo. This came up a month ago where you got a communication from PennDOT that they had concerns about these ramps. I mean, why did we uh, just get a more uh, blowback from them at this point? I, the, the turnaround on the reviews takes, you know, a couple weeks from PennDOT. So as we get the information from them, we're working on the, the, the information that they request and we send it to them as soon as we had it prepared. Well, uh, we need the up, we need the permit for this uh, uh, project. Uh, and I know this has been funded by I, I know that you said to do what PennDOT wants to do would increase significantly the cost, something to that effect. Uh, I think I just mentioned it's just another delay to get them the, the, the approved permit, traffic it, signal permit. Would it increase the cost if we were to comply with what PennDOT is asking for? No, the, the ADA ramps are part of the original scope of, project, of the project. Oh, I thought they were saying it wasn't in the... Their review for the traffic signal permit is not, was not originally part of the, uh, the submission because they don't typically comment on this aspect of the project right. because is, it's not a state route. Is PennDOT holding up the permit until we get a plan to them regarding the ramps? We have sent them the information that they had asked for the ramps and they are currently reviewing. They are currently, when did you send them that information? Uh, end of last week. Okay. You, you didn't specify that this might increase significantly the cost of the project to do what they're asking for? I did not say that, no. The, 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 I had an email from you where you said that it would, I mean, I, I have to find this uh, mm -hmm. quote I'm concerned because that's what you said in the email, that it would increase the cost. If we were to relocate the ramps at that intersection, it would increase the cost. But is that's that not what PennDOT is asking for, to relocate the ramps? No, they asked us for the design of the ADA ramps at the intersection. I, I, I don't understand. I'm getting two different, in, two different information from you. One well, that I, is going to increase the cost and one that... It's not, so which is it? I, I don't, I, I, I have not said, what is, what's gonna increase in cost? To do what, PennDOT is seeking additional information. And it's um, gonna take more time. Would increase the cost dramatically and would not fit within the ARLE funding. That's what you said in email. To relocate the ramps, but that's not what we're proposing. You're proposing something different than what PennDOT wants? No, PennDOT has not told us that they want to relocate the ramps. They, they we're asked. open to comments from PennDOT on the ramp design, but they have not indicated that they want to relocate the crosswalks because they know that it's not within the funding of the approved grant. And so at that point, they are asking for what's called a technically feasible form for the design of the ramps. And that's what we have recently submitted to them to, to mm -hmm. make our point to not have to relocate the crosswalks. So you made a point 
that we do not have to relocate the crosswalk because why would you make that point? Because it's not part of the Is funding. that what PANDOT asked for, to relocate the, the ADA ramps? No. They asked for the technically infeasible things, the TIF forms, and they were going to review them. But you just said the technical infeasibility yes. flaw. If I may. Can I finish? You just said that that form was to contest the feasibility of moving the ramps. Why would you need to do that? Because we are not proposing to relocate the ramps. And so their response is they want us to send in these standard TIF forms to justify why we don't want to relocate the ramps. And in the meantime, uh, when we got the letter, we approached uh, our state representative and our, our state senator to speak to PennDOT. And they, they have spoken to PennDOT. They've got a receipt that, that PennDOT has gotten their, their questions and their uh, inqu comments and questions. Uh, and so we're waiting for PennDOT to get back to us. What, we, what we've asked them to do is issue the permit while we haggle about the, 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 the design of the, of, the, of the accessibility ramps. This is not, from, again, what I, what I know about it is it's not a state road, so it's interesting that they're asking about the, especially about the design of the accessibility ramps. I know this has been a touchy intersection as well as other intersections around the township. So, 